Welcome to Stab the Dragon Productions for Whiskey Review number 13. Or is this a ranch style beans review? Hmm, we'll find out. This is December 14, 2021. And this is uh, my 13th whiskey review, I guess. But let's start off with naming this whiskey, showing you the bottle. This is Silver Star whiskey silver star whiskey from trinity river distilling in fort worth texas silver star spirits first the history mark luzinan started silver star spirits in 2012 and then they started in a big way by purchasing and repurposing the Ranch Style Beans Factory, just southeast of downtown Fort Worth, Texas. This uh, big Ranch Style Beans plant has been a landmark in Fort Worth since its construction in 1913, over 100 years ago. And now it's the home of an up-and-coming whiskey distillery. One of the unique features of this distillery is a large rainwater collection system it's got 13,000 gallon tank for the rainwater, which is then used to make their spirits. Now, I've lived in Fort Worth for over 35 years and kind of love that old ranch style beans facility. And when they moved out of the plant in 2007 and it was kind of abandoned, I was sad. But then Trinity River Distillery opened uh, and they bought the plant in 2016. And that old landmark still stands proud. The first whiskey that Silver Star Spirits put out on the market a few years ago was labeled Silver Star Spirit Whiskey. It had the word spirit there, and so that means it had vodka in it, and it tasted like it. I purchased a bottle and went through it, but it simply was not my thing. It was not real good. It wasn't bad, but uh, it was very thin. You could tell that uh, it, it had you know, substantial vodka to it. Just a very thin uh, whiskey, not much flavor going on there at all. But earlier this year, 2021, I started seeing uh, some bottles change. I, th I think maybe even in 2020, I saw their bourbon come out. But 2021, I saw the bottles of their whiskey change. And they dropped the word spirit from the label. And it now just says Silver Star Whiskey. Now, I'm not sure of the significance of that. It doesn't say straight whiskey. Uh, you know, so I'm not sure if this is still a spirit whiskey. I, one of the other reviewers that I watch online said that they believe this is still a, a spirit whiskey. But it tastes substantially different from the earlier bottle that I had. And so in my research for the history of this stuff, I could not find where they transitioned I could not find any clear-cut definition of what's in here other than it does have a kind of a, a bourbon mash of 70% corn and then, or yeah, 70% corn and then some rye and barley. So nowhere did I see uh, that this was still a spirit whiskey other than uh, another reviewer that I've watched, but the bottles did change. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, I bought it knowing that uh, maybe this was going to be different and uh, the uh, history of it, though a little bit unclear, I'm going to still give it a four out of five points for history because frankly, turning a, uh, a bean factory into a distillery is beyond cool. I mean, that, and it's a landmark here in Fort Worth. So yeah, four out of five points for history. Now let's talk about marketing and packaging in the bottle here. I do recall seeing a billboard in Fort Worth across the highway, across I-35 from the distillery a few years ago that uh, advertised uh, this whiskey. I've not seen it lately, but I do know that you know probably four or five years ago I saw that sign. <coughs> and uh, so that's when I got the spirit whiskey. Uh, and I first saw this bottle at Total Wine in the summer of this year and, and realized, well, it no longer got that spirit part of the name. Uh, 
the color and the bottle, the design, the label, everything looked real close. Just drop the word spirit. Now, I think uh, in, in some ways, if this is substantially changed from the spirit whiskey and it tastes different, it really does, then leaving everything just the same uh, may be kind of a mistake, I, I'm, I'm thinking, because initially I thought it was the same as that spirit whiskey and I didn't want to have that again. But then when I read the label closely, I saw that they dropped the name Spirit. So I don't know what other people think, but uh, to me, I th think they should have changed it more substantially. This bottle is round. It's clear glass. It's tapered from a more narrow base to a wider top. The label is actually pretty cool. It's, it's dark brown, parchment looking. I don't know if you can see that, but it, you know, it just looks like... Uh, leather or parchment that's been torn there and, and to me that's pretty cool goes with the color uh, the label uh, has you know the, the big lettering on the front silver star and it's got the uh, the five-pointed star with the whiskey in the middle and I have seen uh, other versions of this bottle online where the whiskey is, is down below here, down below the star. It's got uh, at the bottom, it's all the information, 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof, 750 milliliters. Now on the back, you've got this kind of a standard advertising statement that most whiskey distilleries do that talks about uh, their whiskey. And this one talks about the Chisholm Trail and Texas Cowboys and, uh, you know, tries to, to make a link there. Uh, but on the bottom, it does say produced and bottled by Silver Star Spirits, Fort Worth. And so that's cause for some concern because nowhere does it say distilled. Uh, now, if you go to the website of Silver Star Spirits, they uh, have pictures of a still inside that old bean factory. So I, I know they're distilling stuff and they do have a bourbon. So I'm, I'm just unclear uh, about uh, the lineage here, about uh, what they're doing. Now, also on this bottle, there's something that is extremely cool. I don't know how much of this you can see, but uh, that label right there is a reproduction of the Fort Worth Centennial uh, label. And there, it's, it's got a lot of cool things. It's got uh, 1849 to 1949, because Fort Worth was founded in 1849. And it's got a picture of the skyline of Fort Worth back in that day. It's got some ranch scenes, and it's got a, ran a particular ranch listed, the Four Sixes, 6666. Six, six, six. I used to work for the owner of the Four Sixes. Uh, in, in my career, I, I, I worked uh, for that owner for about 16 years. And so, you know, I've, I've been to one part of the Four Sixes Ranch and uh, Four Sixes on the Brazos. And, and so, you know, when I saw that on the label, it's like, oh, wow, that is uh, really cool. It's, it's got a picture of the early settlement days and it's got a picture of a B-36 bomber on here. I don't know if you can tell that but there's a b-36 bomber right up in here it's in the air uh, you probably can't see that kind of a detail online the b-36 bomber was made here in fort worth and uh so that, again that that's that's pretty cool and the b-36 bomber has got a lot of rich history even though it wasn't used for very many years it was uh, really, it, it's actually larger than the B-52. I mean, it, this was a massive uh, bomber. It had propellers and jets. So all in all, this label is way cool. Uh, there's a small raindrop also on the bottle that says uh, that it's, it's made with Texas rainwater. And unfortunately, nowhere does it say distilled. So, they, you know, they've got pictures of the still on the site. It says it's distilled with Texas water, uh, but it doesn't say distilled in Fort Worth. So, you know, I'm not 100% sure that it's distilled here. Uh, and, and why would they have that huge rainwater collection system if it's not? 
can you, you know, I, I guess they could import some whiskey from somewhere else and then uh, cut it with Texas rainwater, maybe. I, I'm not sure of what's going on there. So the bottle cap is, uh, I think, wood with a uh, rubber stopper. And so normally speaking, this kind of a bottle design is really not one of my favorites. But with the label, it's way cool. I, I really like the label. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 for the bottle and, mar and marketing. Composition. I've already talked quite a bit about the composition. You know, the website says the whiskey is no less than 70% corn and the rest is barley and rye. They use a double reverse osmosis with purified Texas rainwater and it's aged in single-use charred American white oak barrels. And it's bottled at 80 proof. But again, I can't account for how long has it spent in the barrel. It, it, in one part of the website somewhere, I saw something that said over two years. But this does not taste. It doesn't have the Texas funk. And so it doesn't really taste like some of the other Texas whiskeys. But what I'm finding in my journey through Texas whiskeys is that there are some whiskeys here in Texas that are legit Texas whiskeys that don't have the funk. So, so that's possible, apparently. But for composition, uh, there are some questions that remain. And so only 11 out of 15 for composition. Physical appearance of this whiskey. This is a very light-colored uh whiskey you, you can see that by looking there um, it's got medium legs but it's a very pale yellow you know that's not much darker than, than something like Cuddy Sark so it's a very light whiskey uh, <clears throat> it looks a little bit darker in the in the bottle because the label is brown and so when you've got a brown label and you hold that bottle up, it looks like a, a much darker whiskey. But when you pour it, this is what you get. So I'm going to say uh, for appearance of the whiskey, just a two out of five for looks. The nose. Now my nose is almost useless. I can't smell much of anything in the glass. A very faint... Uh, sweet flavor maybe my nose just is not my best asset <clears throat> so benefit of the doubt the fact that there's no bad alcohol aroma I have smelled some whiskeys that were bad where I got a heavy dose of ethanol on the nose so I'm not getting that so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say 7 out of 10 for the nose now what about the taste Well, I can say it does not taste like ranch-style beans. Okay, this is a lovely, sweet uh, whiskey right from the start. Honey, caramel. This is a gentle sipping whiskey. Uh, it, it's not too sweet. You know, a few weeks ago I did a review of Bent 5, which is a local whiskey, and, and that was really too sweet for me it was very sweet this is on the order of tx uh, blended whiskey this is in that same category and so it's, it's it's very similar in a lot of ways which makes me think you know maybe that that's what this is is a blended uh whiskey of some kind Really reminds me a lot of TX whiskey and also Irish whiskey. Maybe Tullamore Dew. Uh, faint vanilla is present, but nowhere near the vanilla bomb that TX Blended has. Uh, it, it, it's uh, really it's like pure nectar. I mean, this is really unbelievably smooth and delicious and sweet, without being too sweet. This is a simple whiskey. Don't, don't think that this is going to be anything rich and complex. It's not, uh, you know, well-aged, uh, but it is smooth like an Irish. 
uh, young Irish, yeah. Uh, th there's no alcohol flavor at all. I get nothing offensive there. It's sweet, gentle honey, caramel from first to last. And considering the label does not actually say distilled in Texas, uh, you know, it, it doesn't have that Texas funk. So it makes me wonder a lot about what exactly is in here. But all in all, this is a very pleasing, easy sipping drink. I mean, I man, I mean, to me, this is impressive, really. So I'm going to say 21 out of 25 points for flavor, taste. The mouth feel and finish. It is just a bit thin, uh, but it does have a bit of an oily feel. Again, it's, it's very similar to an Irish. It's a, uh, I, well, I've had some thin bourbons that uh, really did feel and, and taste thin. So I'm thinking of George Stickle 8. I'm thinking of Old Granddad 80 proof. You know, bourbons like that, they still have, you know, a decent flavor, but they really feel thin in your mouth and going down. This is not like that. This this is a bit richer than that, I think. Uh, there, there's no immediate burn up in my sinuses or in the throat. Now, there's a slow burn that begins after a while, after you've had about three sips. Then it kind of starts accumulating, but it's very slight. Uh, and it does linger for a while. Uh, it doesn't just vanish, and so the aftertaste really is sweet still and, and pleasing. So there's, there's nothing negative that, that comes up from this at all. Now, I do prefer a little bit stronger of a burn, and so I, I do like a, a stronger whiskey most of the time, but for easy sipping and sweet deliciousness, this is, this is hitting, you know, top of the charts here. For an 80 proof whiskey, this is actually very surprising. Uh, some 80 proof bourbons, like I said, are, are just thin, but this one kind of floats through my mouth. It's airy, it's light, but it's satisfying. So for mouthfeel and finish, I'm gonna give this a 12 out of 15 points. Price, value, and availability. Uh, $29.99 at goody goody. 33.67 at specs and 31.99 at total wine. Again, that's uh, December of 2021. So this whiskey compares very favorably with TX Blended, that's around $30. Uh, and, and the two may be competing head to head. That that may be what's in uh, the owner's mind here, <coughs> because they are so similar. The price is so close. The flavor profile. Uh, everything about it is very similar. It reminds me of TX Blended so much. So for a local craft whiskey to be this delicious, readily available at this price, uh, I'm going to say for value and availability, 10 out of 10. Now, I don't know the range of this whiskey. I don't, I don't know how far outside of the North Texas area this whiskey goes. So I, I, I'd be surprised if it was carried much beyond Texas really but uh, you know for, for my position it, it's readily available and it's it's a good deal now is this neat or a mixer uh, for me I, I drink almost all my whiskeys neat and so this is definitely a nice slow sipper a neat drink but if you like a, a, to mix this is a gentle sweet whiskey it's not strong, but at the same time, I think the flavor is going to hold up uh, in, in something that you're going to mix. It, I, th I think that would go well. I can see this going in maybe a 7-Up or something, a Sprite. Definitely. And, you know, I, I just don't do cocktails, so I'll, I'll let you be the judge of that. But this, this is really sweet, delicious, easy sipping, neat drink. So 5 out of 5. Now for the last uh, points, that it's a bonus point. This is a local craft uh, whiskey for me. The taste is great at this price. 
it's available. So yeah, bonus, uh, cool bottle, cool label, five out of five points on the bonus. So that gives me a, a total score of an 82, which is uh, about a B plus on my letter grade system. And I think I gave TX Blended an A minus. I would really have to do a head-to-head -head competition with these two. To see which one I really liked the most. And, and that may be coming up. Ne next year, uh, 2022, I may uh, go through all these North Texas, Fort Worth area whiskeys and do some head-to-head -head competition to see which ones I really like the best and which ones kind of fall by the wayside. But I'll tell you right now, my recommendation is if you like Irish whiskeys and you want to try a Texas whiskey, this would be a great place to start. If you need a bold kick in the face kind of a whiskey, this is not going to work for you. Uh, this is a sweet, gentle whiskey. Uh, could be a dessert whiskey, but it's not too sweet to disqualify it from being a delightful uh, all afternoon, evening sipper. If if you're a, uh, a whiskey drinker who doesn't like the burn, this is, this is for you. This, this will be a nice intro. If you're drinking your way around the Texas distilleries, be sure to pick up a bottle of this Silver Star Whiskey. I think it's a must-have on the Texas Whiskey Trail. When I finish this bottle, I will certainly replace it. It will be a uh, permanent in-stock whiskey for me, I believe. And, and next week, Lord willing, I, I hope to try the... Uh, the Silver Star Bourbon, because I've got that bottle sitting in uh, my cabinet unopened. So uh, this week, the Silver Star Whiskey, and hopefully next week, the Silver Star Bourbon. That'll be an interesting comparison between the two. Well, thank you for joining me uh, with Stab the Dragon here in my bunker, and I'll sign out for now and hope to see you next week.